Ireland, we have an appetite for life and for food. The locals are proud to boast of our culinary customs and mouth-watering fare. Where I'm taking you this morning is a great little farmer's market in Kilkenny. When you come to Kilkenny, you actually can get to taste Kilkenny. There's a lot of uh, flavours of different cheeses, different breads that are specific to this part of the world, you know? Can I get one of these? The fruit soda. Yeah, it's superb. Is that an Irish recipe, actually? It is, yeah. It's my mother's recipe. Wow. You know, people have been eating that bread in, in these markets for the last 100, 200 years, Thanks you know? In. We'll see you soon. Bye. In Ireland, we're so proud of our local produce. We're always keen to show it off. Oh, look at this. Hi. Hey. Hello. Are you looking for cheese? Yeah, we hear you make great cheese. Um, we think it's just about the best in the world. There we go. <laughs> Can't wait to sample some of that. And if there's anything you want to know, just ask. So, how long do you need the cheese to mature then? It takes about three weeks. We have a very diverse grazing range, so the flavour of the cheese comes from that. Mmm. Oh, that's divine. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Our island's green pasture is key to the sumptuous flavours of our food. And with three and a half thousand miles of coastline, our shores are bursting with the freshest fish. Hey guys. What are you doing, Henry? Hello. Henry. Yes. How's it going? So tell us, what are you going to cook for us today? So today we have uh, lobsters. That's fresh. The shellfish platter. And we got the oysters from Banskelix Bay, mussels, and we got the clams from Port McGee. So what do you fancy this? Well, a bit of oysters, maybe. So what goes well with the oysters, Henry? Guinness. People love to have Guinness with oysters. Yeah, yeah. Guinness sauce. There you go up with the Guinness. <laughs> Jeez, look at that. So we'll show you tastes that have married together for centuries. Cheers. Cheers. And new cuisine for which Ireland is getting known. Since Belfast has taken off, there's a lot more choice available now. Yeah. And even in the foods, you really notice that. You know, you've got pesto, you've got Lebanese food, Mexican food, Spanish food. That looks amazing. Hi. It's good timing. Super paella. Mmm, it's really good. But food's not the only thing on the menu. We have brews and beverages to wet your whistle. Okay, this is Shebeen Sheik. This is our, well, my favorite restaurant in Dublin. And it does the best cocktails in town, so let's check it out. Okay, this is Fred. This is our favorite barman. Hey, yeah. Uh, like a couple well, of cocktails, Fred. What do you recommend? Um, the old espresso martini's not too bad. Okay. So whether you're after traditional tastes or you want to shake things up, when it comes to food and drink in Ireland, We've got it all. Martini, espresso martini. Cheers. Cheers.